Today we're continuing the history of the film Ichiban Kuji with Beerus. We haven't really gotten a lot of Beerus figures and of course this is our very first Masterly's version of him. As you all know, I'm a huge fan of Masterly's so I'm really hoping that this figure lives up to the hype. Let's dive into the review and find out if Beerus truly is a god of destruction. What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we're continuing the history of the film Ichiban Kuji with Beerus. But like always guys, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit the bell so that way you get notified whenever I upload a new video. I try to upload videos every week. Like this video if you enjoy it and of course, comment your thoughts down below in the comment section so we can have a discussion on this figure after the review. Beerus is here, people. I love Beerus. Beerus is such a cool character ever since he appeared in Battle of Gods, which is what this figure is based off of, the Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods movie. I'm just so happy <laughs> that he has a mass release, finally. I, I really didn't think it was ever gonna happen, so I'm really, really happy that Bandai finally gave us Beerus. So I'm really excited to dive into this thing, so without further ado, we'll go into the background of the figure, do some size and comparisons, and of course, we'll give it a rating at the end and uh, we'll rate it out of seven Dragon Balls. Let's go. This figure is based on Beerus from the Dragon Ball Z film, Battle of Gods. He's based on Toriyama's concept art of the character seen here. Ichiban Kuji is a limited run lottery system created by Ben Presto. These figures are usually exclusive to Japan and will have their overseas or Ichibanjo versions released in limited quantity, if at all. The prizes vary from art boards, towels, phone straps, or a plush, but the most sought after prizes are the figures and usually the last one prize is the most valuable. This set consists of Super Saiyan Gohan, Super Saiyan Goten, Cooler, Meta Cooler, Turles, Super Janemba, Beerus, and Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. This Kuji set was released in Japan on August 4th, 2022, and will not have an overseas release. There are no variations of this figure currently. You can find him on eBay or Facebook collecting groups for about $100. This figure is made of PVC and ABS. He stands at just under nine inches. Beerus comes in four pieces, his upper body, lower body, tail, and support. I gotta say that while I am pretty happy with this figure, I am a little underwhelmed. Let's start with his likeness. It's certainly very accurate to his concept art, but I think that art makes Beerus look a little bit derpy. Luckily, the figure doesn't really look derpy at all, but I wish they made his face a tiny bit longer, maybe? I'm not sure if that's exactly what's off of this face, but there's certainly something about it. Not terrible at all, just slightly off. Paint and shading is pretty good. The colors are accurate to Beerus, and they went with a metallic slash glossy color for his jewelry, for his ear, and arms. The only spot on the figure that has any notable shading is his pants from front to back. I wish they gave some subtle shading on his skin to make the figure pop a bit more. Size and scaling are perfect. Beerus isn't the tallest character in the Dragon Ball cast, but should be a respectable height. I think they did him justice here, and he'll fit in well with nearly any figure in your collection. His sculpt is nearly perfect, but there is a small blemish that distracts me a bit with the figure. You can see around his jaw that his face separates from the rest of his head. Not a big deal, but it is a little disappointing that they weren't able to hide this that well on a Masterly's figure. Other than that small blemish though, the figure is solid. Not hollow at all, and his support fits on snugly. Really happy with his build and how it emphasizes how thin Beerus is. Overall, 
Beerus may be a bit underwhelming compared to the others in this set, but is still pretty great. I'm happy that we got this character as an Ichiban Kuji regardless. If they had touched up his likeness and shading just a bit, I think he would have been a perfect figure. I'm giving this one 6 out of 7 Dragon Balls.